polio is spreading in Gaza. The vicious disease had practically been eradicated worldwide, but now, after decades, it's back in Gaza. Here's why. The polio virus is highly infectious and can cause paralysis. It's spreading through Gaza in untreated sewage water and contaminated drinking water. The spread is placing thousands of Palestinians at risk, particularly newborn babies and children who haven't been vaccinated. The ramifications of a probable polio outbreak in Gaza are really multifaceted. Tens of thousands of babies that have been born since October 7th. These children, many of them are not getting vaccinated. If they contract certain types of polio, they will be paralyzed for life. There's no clean water, there's no ability to wash, people are crowded together. This is the perfect recipe for the spread of this type of virus. Israel has displaced 1.9 million Palestinians from their homes, forcing them into crowded and unhygienic makeshift camps and shelters. In some areas, it's reported that over 4,000 Palestinians are sharing one bathroom, and untreated sewage water is flowing openly in the streets. This did not happen by coincidence. Israel has intentionally created the perfect conditions for this public health disaster. It has systematically targeted Gaza's water and sanitation infrastructure. 70% of water and sanitation facilities in Gaza have been damaged, and over 300,000 tons of waste have accumulated in or near densely populated areas. This, plus the decimation and destruction of Gaza's hospital and healthcare systems, and the continued refusal to allow adequate humanitarian aid and medicines into Gaza, have created a ticking time bomb, where the spread of viruses like polio are inevitable. Experts are calling for an immediate ceasefire to allow for the mass vaccination of vulnerable populations in Gaza before it's too late. Because if this isn't stopped right now, the consequences will be devastating, not just in Gaza, but worldwide. But instead of signing a ceasefire deal, Israel is making sure that its soldiers are safe while leaving Palestinians in Gaza to fend for themselves against these diseases. That is, if they survive Israel's bombs. We're past the point where a ceasefire is going to end suffering for people. We will see the ramifications of this for months, years, generations. There are so many factors to get to even a baseline of an acceptable standard of living. And again, this is 2 million people. Where are they going to live? Where are they going to get medical care? Who is going to pay for it? We don't know the answers to these questions, and the international community has been content to ignore them. 